Now let's go back and examine the body of the main method shown in listing one on the right side of your screen. That body consists of everything between this curly brace and this curly brace. The first statement in the body of the main method instantiates a new object of the class whose name is prob01runner. That object is instantiated by applying the new operator to the name of the constructor, which is also prob01runner. When that constructor terminates, it returns a reference to the new object, which is stored in a local reference variable by the name of OBJ. The type of the reference variable named OBJ in listing one is prob01runner, which is the same as the name of the class from which the object is being instantiated. In general, the type of a variable that contains a reference to an object must be either the name of the class or the name of a superclass of that class or the name of an interface which is implemented by that class. You must have a reference to an object in order to gain access to the object. The reference is stored in the variable named obj in listing 1. So let's pose another question. What do you need in order to gain access to an object? And the answer is you need a reference to the object in order to gain access to an object. Now turn your attention again to the main method on your right. The second statement in the body of the main method uses the reference or uses the contents of the reference variable named obj to call the method named run which is encapsulated in the object. Most of the work in this application is performed in the method named run that is called here in the driver class in listing one. When this run method terminates, it returns control to the main method. Control then passes to the statement that I am now highlighting and the last three statements in the main method are executed. Those methods use the reference I'm sorry, the code uses the reference to the object stored in the variable named obj to get a to get access to the object and call the methods named get mars get joe and get sue in succession methods such as the method named get mars over here on your right are commonly referred to as accessor methods. They access and return values that are encapsulated inside of an object. In each case, here in listing one, the value returned by the accessor method is passed to a method named PRINTLN. The method named 
P-R-I-N-T-L-N, is a method that belongs to a standard system object that represents the standard output device on the computer. Usually the standard output device is the command line screen, but that is not always the case. When the method named PRINTLN is used in conjunction with system.out, its purpose is to display material on the standard output device or the command line screen. Without me going into detail about how this works, you should simply memorize the syntax of the last three statements in the body of the main method in listing one on the right hand side of your screen. I explain the concepts involved in great detail on my website at www.dickbaldwin.com Com. The easiest way to find that mater material would probably be for you to go to Google and search for the keywords Baldwin Java quote class variable named out end quote. So here's another question. What is the purpose of system.out.println? And the answer is that system.out.println provides the means by which you can display material on the command line screen in a running Java application. The last three statements, which are highlighted in the main method on the right hand side of your screen, produce the last three lines of text on the command line which are highlighted on the bottom portion of the right hand side of your screen. The single line of text displaying my name was produced by code in the constructor for the Prob01 runner class and the black text was produced by the Java compiler and the Java virtual machine during the compilation of and the beginning of the running of the application. Once again, only the red text on the bottom of the screen was produced by code that was written into the program. 